swimming pool in this body of water represents is an opportunity for young people and families to have relief from the heat, the sun, but also to enjoy themselves when they're out of school in the middle of the summer, as hopefully all of us did when we were younger. And so the biggest investment for all of us being here is uh, the young people who get to experience this pool. So before we begin, I think all of us should, should clap our hands um, collectively, right? Um, and there are a number of people here who will have an opportunity to speak to the theme of investing and working in communities, but also uh, investing in people, right? Um, so as we move through the program, we'll get to that. Uh, I do want to, again, acknowledge the fact that um, we are celebrating the opening of the Housing Authority, the city of Annapolis, the Swimming Pool and Harbor House, also known as the Ron Fisher Swimming Pool. Um, and LaRon is around. But this, this is LaRon right here. So let's give it up for LaRon. Right. So as you all know, there's a, there are always a, long, a litany of people uh, to thank and acknowledge for, for all of their contributions to um, all of the work that not only the city does, but Housing Authority, as well as the county. Um, and so I'll attempt to go through this list, but in advance, uh, if I miss anyone, I want you all to understand that it's not because you are not important or you don't matter. It's that um, quite possibly my brain wouldn't allow me to find the name. So um, I apologize in advance if that happens. So we'll give ourselves uh, a few more minutes and we'll get our um, program started. Uh, again, I appreciate everyone who's here today. This isn't... Um, a, well, my name's William Rao. I work in the mayor's office for anyone uh, who may not know me, so I represent uh, Mayor Gavin Buckley. But um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm one person amongst many um, who, who make things like this happen, and so I really appreciate um, our staff as well. Um, um, without further ado, I want to introduce you all to the elite all-stars. Wanna see on the tippy toes. 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 Tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Tippy,
All-Stars. All right. So at this time, we have uh, on, our, on our lineup of those who are going to be speaking, uh, both on behalf of the city, the county, uh, and the state, we, we have uh, a, a great list of attendees and, and people who are going to be here. Thank you. Um, what I want to jump to, as well as uh, our alder person um, from this ward who is in transit, um, and the mayor. So I want to begin today um, by uh, jumping into um, our, a person who, who, can, who always invests in everything that's needed around this county, um, from small projects all the way to very large projects, um, and someone who I think is uh, a person who identifies with the needs of, of not only the city government, but also everyone all around this county. Um, and one of the mottos is the best place for all. And I think what has been attempted uh, has been an effort to improve the quality of lives of everyone who lives in this county. And I wanna um, uh, introduce County Executive Stuart Pittman uh, to give some greetings and a few other things. County Executive. Greetings and a few other things, right. huh? What, what, <laughs> you want to check? Uh, yeah, I, I um, really wanted to be out here because uh, anybody who um, had heard that there was a delay in opening this pool, I think if, uh, if you care about kids, and I think everybody does, um, that kind of pulls at the heartstrings. And all, most of us had the opportunity to swim when we were kids in the summertime and it's starting to get hot and it's been hot in June and we got to get this pool open. So whoever's in charge of cleaning the pool, congratulations. I mean, that's some crystal clear water. And uh, <laughs> I just feel like I want to jump into it. But, um, you know, the county does not, historically the county has not supported the housing authority of the city of Annapolis. And that's changed in our administration. We have started to provide some direct assistance because it's needed. But all across the county, you know, we have a shortage of housing that's affordable for our workforce, for folks. And we have to build the communities that are affordable for our workforce. And um, we're doing a whole bunch of things uh, related to that, a new housing trust fund, and we've done some legislation. And we got a lot more work to do in that area. So I just want to thank everybody who's responsible for making sure that this pool does open from the mayor's office and Will Rowell um, to particularly, I don't know if I'm allowed, to, do I have to wait on the whole Atlas restaurant thing or am I allowed to do a citation now? All right, all right. Well, because you haven't like made the official announcement, okay. but. No, no, you're good, you can do it. Okay, so this guy, Alex Smith, who's sitting over here, um, is opening a restaurant downtown called Chop Tank, and, and uh, he's a new, yeah, he's a new, um, a new business in town. And he's got restaurants in Baltimore City and other places. And um, um, so I guess Will Rowell called him and said, look, we need some help. We need some private help to, to get this pool open. And uh, so, of course, as a, new, as a new member of our community, stepped right up and said, we'll write you a check for 10 grand. Is that helpful? So I have a, I have a citation here for the Atlas, Atlas Restaurant Group, and it's a making, it's a making the best place for all uh, citation. And we'll mention that as our slogan, and it's on the, the, all, all the signs as you come into the county. Now, it used to say the best place, Anne Arundel County. Now it says the best place for all. So this says the Atlas Group, in recognition of your generous donation to the Housing Authority of the City of Annapolis to fund the opening of the Harbor House Neighborhood Community Pool. 
and uh, thank you for your dedication to the residents of our county. We're grateful for your partnership in this effort to provide the children and families of Harbor House a place to enjoy the summer. Thank you for helping to make Anne County the best place for all. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Thank we you get guys. a picture? Let's get a picture. Yes, let's do it. And the ribbon cutting ceremony is Friday, right? Friday. Friday, yeah. open. So let's all go down and have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. So they'll be sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. There's a seat right there. Yep. Yep. Are you going to take the comfortable chair? Thank you very much, County Executive. Uh, next up, we will have greetings from Mayor Gavin Buckley. Well, this is an exciting day. I want to thank everybody here. It takes a, it takes a village. Um, obviously, uh, we, we care deeply about this community, um, but I, I, I want to get people excited about the future. Um, the future for Harbour House uh, under Melissa's leadership. And, uh, and imagine if we could rebuild this pool on the waterfront. Imagine if it had a great community centre right next door to it with lots of different things in that community centre. And at that waterfront, we make a beautiful park where there's water accessibility. So not only accessibility to a beautiful new pool, maybe a pool with a retractable roof, a pool we could use um, in the winter too. Maybe there are um, you know, uh, heated uh, pools, uh, therapeutic pools there for some of our seniors to, 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 to heal. Um, and imagine that you can get on a boat and go downtown and go to the Chop Tank restaurant. Imagine how fantastic that would be and then come home um, on a boat to the place that you live. So the future is so bright. There is so much potential here in this city. Um, I want to say thank you, especially a big, huge thank you to Alex um, for this because um, when he said, when we first met about this new restaurant, and, and I, I think waterfront restaurants are at water accessibility too. You might not be able to afford a house on the water, but you can afford to go to a nice restaurant and have a drink or a hamburger or, or something on the waterfront. And you'll all be able to do that when this restaurant is finished and it looks so amazing. But, but he told me, we're going to come in, our group is going to come in and they're going to make your city a more inclusive place. And you will see that on, on the people that go to the restaurant, the people that work in the restaurant. So we're lucky to have a partner like that. This is a great team here. This is a great effort between our state, our county and our city. And we are the best place to live <laughs> in America. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next up, we will have greetings from our Ward 6 Alderman, Dewan Gay. Thank you. Awesome. Um, I'm super excited to be here. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with the Atlas Restaurant Group since last year we've worked on a number of projects uh community food events um along with um pitching some ideas for summer activities um so it was incredibly important that they stepped up and took on the responsibility really as the county executive mentioned as kind of new kids on the block to step up step up and take that initiative is incredibly important um, i'd also like to uh, commend the work that the mayor's staff did in putting this all together it really does take a lot of work to, um, and particularly when it comes to financing, to put pieces together um, and make sure things operate smoothly. So um, I'd like to commend the staff and then also acknowledge our city council. Um, this past year in our budget, we passed $75,000 in grants available for HACA uh, for recreational use uh, ex exclusively. And so that'll be exciting. It's available July the 1st. Um, and I think those things help, uh, you know, create tangible things. That's what our residents want to see. They want to see physical change in the community um, and stepping up and, you know, being active and providing those funds on all fronts, both in the private sector and government. It makes a significant difference in the lives of everyone that lives here. So I'm grateful for the rest, uh, the Atlas Restaurant Group, as well as the mayor's staff uh, for working alongside us to get this done. So thank you. Thank you very much, Alderman. Um, excuse this, I don't know why it's doing that. So um, at this point, I would also like to um, get, have the, for you all to have the opportunity to hear remarks um, from some of our other policymakers and representatives at the legislative level. So I want to, at this point, bring up Senator Sarah Alfred uh, to 
greet you all in good comments. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm getting a little sunburned, so I'll be fast. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here. This is a true community partnership, and the state, myself, Delegate Henson, who's represented by Tiana here, Delegate Jones, making sure that our constituents, our neighbors, have a safe place to live, an affordable place to live, is our priority. It's why we fought really hard and brought back $1.5 million for HACA uh, redevelopment this year, and we're going to continue to do that. But we're here today about, about this pool because a thriving neighborhood isn't just about an affordable place to live. It's also about community centers. It's also about summer camps. It's about this pool right here to make sure kids have a safe space to be kids during the summer. And we've never needed that more as we're coming out of a pandemic, as we're fighting real mental health challenges, as we're working towards building our community back up again. This is so incredibly important. I'm very grateful to Alex and Atlas for stepping up. This is what partnership looks like. And we're so happy to have you as a new neighbor and a new partner in this work. Thank you all very much. I'm sorry. You think I would learn my lesson after the fourth time of doing it. Uh, so I apologize, you all. Um, so a, part, a large part of us gathering here today is because um, we are on uh, Housing Authority of the City of Annapolis property. Um, the structure of how the City of Annapolis and HACA is uh, constituted creates um, a symbiotic relationship, but it also creates an extremely necessary uh, both advocate, support, um, and so many other policy ways on, on how to improve the quality of lives of people who live um, um, in public housing on, has, on Housing Authority properties. Um, so uh, we have a partnership uh, the mayor of Annapolis has a very close working partnership um, because of a lot of different other moving parts, one of which is a, a community redevelopment project involving HUD um, and HACA and the city um, to, again, uh, create spaces that uh, are enriching, healthy, vital, and sustainable. So. In that context, I want you all to hear from the Housing Authority's Executive Director, Melissa Maddox-Evans, who is instrumental in, all, in, in every aspect of this. So, Ms. Evans. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you everyone for uh, attending. I tell you what, those elite all-star dancers, they woo, made me feel out of shape up there. <laughs> they did wonderful. Another hand, round of applause for them. All right, and thank you for all of the elected officials, uh, Mayor Buckley, County Executive Pittman, Senator Elfreth, and all of our uh, distinguished guests who have uh, come today to really help. This has really been a community effort, and um, I really want to say that there are lots of people uh, to thank. Uh, I want to also uh, give a shout out to the collaborative supporting youth, Richard Van Dyke, Aaron Snell, Susan Snyder, who have been also instrumental in helping us raise funds for our pool. And uh, a special thank you to Alex Smith, uh, who has decided to, uh, uh, to contribute to the community, not being here very long, but that really sends a message that you want to invest uh, in the people here. And so we really thank the Atlas Group for their generous donation towards our pool efforts. Many people don't know because people ask us all the time, well, you know, what does it take to open the pool? When can we open, open the pool? We, you know, what do we need to do? There is a lot of costs, as you might can imagine, in open, opening a pool. There's pool maintenance. There's pool opera operations. There's paying for the lifeguards. There's paying for a pool operator. And so even throughout this whole process, there's been so many obstacles. Even even when we were close last week, the motor went out on us. Oh, that's another $2,700 on top of what we thought we would. So it's a, it's a continual need. So we encourage anyone who's interested uh, in donating to our uh, pool efforts to donate to our nonprofit that HACA has created for this purpose for resident programs. It's the Annapolis uh, uh, Community Development Redevelopment Corporation Housing and Community Redevelopment Corporation. And the tab is on our website. You can send a direct donation there uh, because the needs will be ongoing. And so we thank everyone who's come out today for the celebration and we get to open up our pool. Kids are excited. So thank you all. Oh.
Oh, sorry, one more thing. One more thing. I especially want to thank uh, Will Rao, who really spearheaded uh, this effort and was uh, instrumental in really pushing for us to get the funding that we need from community leaders. So a special thank you to Will for uh, making sure that this happened. Thank you, Melissa. And uh, so for context, I don't mind being thanked. <laughs> However, I think, and I'm not just being humble, I, I, I want to repeat again, the amazing thing about these efforts are that it's never just an effort of one person, um, that, it, it, that we started a lot of this conversation off talking about how we can provide opportunities for young people in the summer. So it, it, our initial meeting had nothing to do with the swimming pool. Um, it involved HACA, it involved a lot of nonprofit, community-based organizations, and it all spurred from a conversation from Mayor Gavin Buckley because his number one concern was that moving into the summer, we didn't want to solve every community level problem by focusing on having either more police or by criminalizing the fact that young people are gonna be out and about and they'll be out of school and they need activities. So, uh, so the genesis of this entire conversation, I wanna give credit to our mayor because he actually focused his energy on convening all of our nonprofits all of those organizations that serve young people and starting the conversation. Out of that, we identified that there were needs that certain organizations and certain entities had in the city. One of those being housing authority, which is not to say that they're not able to provide services and do all these other things. But one of the things we do know is if we really want to create change and we really want to provide opportunities for everyone, then a lot of times we just need to identify what the challenge and issue is and focus on that challenge and issue and get that challenge and issue removed. And so I want to commend again, and I'm not just saying this, everyone who is here, including residents of this community, because we need, I think right now the awesome thing is, we will be able to say that this swimming pool is open. And that's the beginning, that's the beginning of greatness to me. So again, applaud yourselves. So we're, so we're wrapping down our program, we're winding down, but I wanted um, to bring up uh, a person who works in this community and works in other communities in the city to kind of help us frame a little bit of the conversation around investment and working in communities. And that's someone who works in the mayor's office as well and works on a lot of other programs, and that's Erica Griswold. Hello. Well, um, I'll be brief because I didn't know that I was going to be uh, speaking, but uh, nevertheless, thank you to uh, Atlas. You guys, listen, what a way to put your money where your mouth is, right? So I challenge everyone that's in your position to do the same thing. Because as it was stated earlier, this is just the beginning, and yes, we are super excited that this pool is opening, but there is so much more work to do. We have so much more work to do. But right now, we're gonna celebrate this, this, this day of the pool opening. It was very hard. I watched Will like rub his hair gray. I watched him have heart palpitations. We were in a lot of meetings where, you know, where we thought it was gonna go right, and then it didn't, so. Thank you, Will, for making it happen. Thank everyone that had something to do with it to make it happen. Thank you, beautiful Nicole, for making it happen. And thank the city of Annapolis and Mayor Gavin Buckley, because he did initiate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and one more thing. I'd just like to remind everybody out here that the word community has unity in it. And we cannot go forward or do anything without that unity. We cannot count these people out. Thank you. So uh, we, I keep saying this, but we're moving further down our, our program. So we have a, a, a few more things and then we will we'll wrap up with the big unveil. Um, 
So right now I want to bring up Pastor Cheryl Menendez, and she's going to talk a little bit about um, some of the work that's being done uh, in communities here, as well as um, uh, efforts to, to continue to invest. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here. I'm not going to take a long time because uh, my whole goal is to see that this community, as well as Robinwood, that we've been working in for 18, 19 years now, and thanks to the mayor's office who helped support us, the county, and also the Department of Health. I just want you all to know, for me personally, this is something I would like to do because for those of you who know, my husband and I worked here together uh, and there are things we do under the cover that a lot of people don't see because we don't post it. But today, I would personally, on behalf of my husband, like to present the City of Annapolis and Housing Authority with the check for $2,000 to help with whatever needs to take place. These children are my life. I was an executive with AT&T. I resigned from my job to actually work in the communities, and we've been here for over 18 years. I will do whatever it takes to help anybody who knows me. I will do that. I want to say thank you to Sammy because let me tell you, you all don't know, he almost had a nervous breakdown, a heart attack, a stroke, and everything else. I've put up a lot of prayers. And thank you, Mayor. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone. But no, this is not the end. We have to continue. And my director for my clubhouse lives here has been here for eight years. My children come from here, and Robin Wood, who are part of our H2O for Life Adolescent Clubhouse, through the, through the, actually through the governor's office, and the city of Annapolis, and the mayor's, off, the mayor's office. And just thank you, and, how, and actually, I don't wanna forget the Department of Health. Thank you all. Thank you for loving our children, and let's not stop, but continue. God bless. Okay, so I want to I do a backdrop to that and explain why that is so incredibly important symbolically is because Alex Smith and Atlas, remembering that the, the, the investment, the, the, your, your initial investment is, is the kickoff to a lot of other opportunities because it opens up the door for people to really understand how they can help improve all of this stuff, right? So we want to commend you again, Pastor Menendez. Thank you so much. Um, and I know that will spur a lot of other things to happen. So we have one other person, and then we will do our presentation. Um, Aaron Snell, um, who is going to uh, talk a little bit about their efforts and the continuing aspect of, of what Atlas has brought to the table. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you, Atlas. I'm the executive director of Charting Careers, a nonprofit in town, but also get to collaborate with a lot of other nonprofits like Pastor Menendez's organization and other community groups like People Builders Consulting, and get to work with a lot of great groups who are working with families and youth in the community. So we just wanted to say thank you for your support, but also that the nonprofit community and other groups that care about young people and community members and families want to partner with you and other businesses and the Housing Authority and the city and the county and state to do all we can to work as a true community in unity and um, will also continue to help support and spur further donations um, to continue this effort. So I just wanted to say thank you to the nonprofits who are here to partner. So thanks. Thank you, Aaron. Um, if you all check the city's website, you can find more information about all of these efforts and more information about Atlas and their contribution, as well as the fact that remembering, I think uh, Alderman Gay spoke to this, but we are also uh, working on workforce development and providing job opportunities for people um, from all around this city, but with, with specific interest to areas where we know there are opportunities to create pathways to not only a job, but a career, but um, opportunities to, to provide a quality of life for their families. And so that's the backdrop for a lot of this as well. So at this time, I'd like to bring up Atlas Restaurant Group CEO, Alex Smith, um, who is going to present um, a check, but uh, also uh, give some remarks about their um, investment in this pool in this community. So I introduce Alex Smith to you all after, after we've talked about him quite a bit. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for having me. Let me just say that 
this community is so lucky to have such unbelievable leadership from the alderman and the mayor and county executive, senator, uh, as well as everybody from the community. Uh, you guys are so fortunate to have people that, that care and are so engaged in the community. Um, and, you know, one of our core values in our company is community. And a lot of companies have that as part of their core values, but they don't act on it. And I'm, I'm just honored and proud that we represent a group of people. We'll have 1,800 employees at the end of the year. Um, and everybody in Baltimore or Houston or South Florida or D.C., wherever we are, um, we engage in many different types of community activities uh, from the ground up, whether it's trash cleanups, providing, you know, food services to homeless shelters, getting involved in projects like this, um, one-off projects like this that are, that are so important for the community. And, and, and by the way, you, you can count on us to be a partner with you guys for years to come here. So next year, when you guys, when you guys are ready again, call us and we'll be here for you. Um, so you, you have that and you can take it to the bank, all right? Um, but I'm honored to be here. Thanks for having us. Our commitment is strong. It will continue. Um, and I uh, look forward to meeting some of you individually. But I should stop talking and let these kids enjoy this beautiful pool out here. Uh, I'll invite everybody to come up and just... Yeah. Present this beautiful check. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should get in there. Yeah. Get one in here. Good. I'll hold, that. I'll hold that for you. Yeah. I don't want to block you out. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Probably. All right, all right, thank you. I did apply for the lifeguarding position, but they turned me down. Right. Gia, can you go ahead and deposit this? All right, so I'll read this citation from our city council. On behalf of the residents of the city of Annapolis, we are pleased to confer upon you this city council citation in recognition of your commitment to the Annapolis community by providing funding for the housing authority of the city of Annapolis to open the pool. We are grateful for your willingness to step up to help our young people have a fun activity that will keep them engaged during the hot summer months. We also thank you for hosting a job fair and working to hire locally for the newest restaurant in your group, Chop Tank, in Annapolis. We look forward to your continued partnership in the community. Thank you again. Presented to At Atlas Restaurant Group.